out here, Northern California, Central California, I guess. Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Got Sean McDonald here from Slack World next to me. Friday was slow start. Yeah, Friday was a slow start because we were just trying to we were trying to do too much. We were, we got auto blip on the bike, but because we hadn't tested it, it was it just wasn't working right. And then uh, so we ended up taking that back off halfway through the first session, and then we were working on decel some more, and then trying to figure out gearing and suspension and me figuring out the track. So there was just there was a lot going on, and um, I mean I was right there time wise, but second session, the one that really kind of counted for Super Bowl, um, went out and I mean I was going I was going pretty quick, but bike just wasn't doing what I wanted to, and uh, and just missed out on Super Bowl by just a little bit. With World Superbike, it's production bikes. I know we were at Coda with MotoGP, but those are all prototypes and stuff, so I think everybody just wants to see how close they can get to the World Superbike guys. There's quite a few different corners here. There's some flat ones, there's some off-camber ones, there's some banked ones, then you mix in there all the elevation changes and stuff like that, and it's, uh, it definitely makes you think about it a lot whenever you're out there riding, and also for the crew themselves, just trying to figure out what's the best option for the bike and how to set it up. First of all, I'd like to thank Chris at Flash Tune for coming on board to help us as a sponsor this year. And we start out basically with a stock ECU, and Chris is a very smart guy. People around here, get they're called, oh, the geeks. We're waiting on the geeks, but Chris is a geek and he's a good one. And uh, he, he developed a way to uh, reflash, to talk and program the ECU to see what the ECU does. So basically the ECU on its own does all these things anyway. What we're doing is being able to change them and communicate with ECU to change them. So all these things are inside there, we're unlocking them. One of the problems we have is <clears throat> it the right reading and write process takes a little bit of time. So in a shorter session where we're trying to do other things with suspension and engine and, and Hayden's writing, we don't always have time to get everything done. We don't, the schedule's been bang, 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 and we've been going to races. We haven't had time to test. Yesterday in the race, we had an issue with the ECU. We didn't realize it, went in the race, the bike was pushing him into the corners on D-cell. One of the things that happens when you're in development is, sure you make progress, but sometimes you take a step back. We were trying to open it up to where it would freewheel a little bit more and then... Freewheel too much. It, it, it completely freewheeled <laughs> and put me on the ground. Not too bad, it was just a nice little easy low side, so just go through and double check everything and see how it all is and get it all back together and get him out there tomorrow. Hayden Gillum. He is uh, somebody that's been a friend, a brother to me. Uh, I mean, I, I've been living with him and his family for the last uh, 10 years. Everybody kind of goes through a, a time in their career where you're just waiting for that last piece to fall. He's got a great crew around him and a, and a great team, but I think they're, they're all just missing that last little piece. But he, even though when he has the hard races, I, I like, I, I want to support him and be there for him because I know once that last piece comes, it, he'll be right there. But uh, we definitely do got to work on cleaning this, this man up a little bit. Oh. Race two was a lot better, yeah. Uh, I mean, outside of the whole not crashing thing, yeah. which is also cool. Yeah, race one, race one I crashed on like lap four after getting a horrible start uh, going in the last turn from you know the D-cell stuff. And, uh, we got it fixed for the most part for uh, race two. And, uh, and I, was, I got a lot better start. We actually got launch control working. Right. But no, I mean, it was a good race. I was running right there in 10th place for a lot of the race. I was battling with Sylvan Barrier and I was right behind Anthony West and Danny Eslick and had Jason Salvo right on my butt. Um, and then two laps to go, start running, I guess. So, I mean, it was it was a good day, way better than yesterday. So I got some valuable points, but uh, so yeah. you got, you got we got some time off. Yeah, we got a month off. Gonna hang out in Southern California and go ride bicycles with Josh Hayes, and I think Kyle Wyman's gonna go down there and hang out and uh, go ride some motocross, do a little dirt tracking. Gonna go to Sturgis. I think that's, that's the next race for me. How you feel about Sonoma? Usually goes good. Usually is is rough. It's been it's been five years since we raced there. For most people, a lot of people haven't ridden there in a long time, so. 
kind of even playing yeah, field. Yeah, even playing field. And we're gonna, we're gonna try and get a little testing, try and figure out some of those electronics. Maybe go try surf. I don't know how to surf, so. Seen corn dogs and ices and everything he eats from Springfield. Look how good that helped him. Maybe we need to get him a corn dog today. Maybe that'll help out a little bit for race two. You guys are doing a lot of standing around down there. Oh, you're waiting on me, huh? There, you know the corkscrew sign? We're right there. Yeah, I'm waving at you if you can tell. <laughs> I talk to aliens. Oh boy. I know how antennas work. Uh, what's up, dude? I don't know. I want to be down there. That sounds good. Oh, they're partying? They're getting after it. You hear that? Can you hear that on here? I, I, I don't know if you guys saw, but in the last video, I fed him a, a corn dog because that's kind of what he what he likes to eat. But he knows that I don't eat meat, so strawberries taste pretty good.